wait to go into the darkness and we find the preacher the calling that he has done out of love and mercy. David Paul Ruby, OMI, present. That's a day of blessings. It's a day that I've been looking forward to for ooh, many, many years, even before I joined formation. And to see that the Lord has blessed me to come to this day, this day of ordination, diaconate ordination, but very much it's a day for him to call me into ministry. And in, very much in ministry with the oblate charism wrapped around me. Jesus, Jesse, Esther, OMI. I feel blessed to be here and uh, just full of gratitude for my Obli family, for the support of so many people. And it was just a beautiful blessing today. Parents, the Sunday Sota, OMI. I've been in formation for quite some time now and I've been, I think, prepared for the moment. So I'm very glad that it came to pass and uh, I'm now looking forward to my priestly ordination. Relying on the help of the Lord God and the Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the Yacht. Thanks be to God. The process, it's wonderful because it's really helped me be, uh, to get ready spiritually and to understand how big this is. Uh, because we're given the opportunity to serve people in a very special way. A lot of people will depend on us as spiritual leaders, so, so we really have to be rooted in prayer. So I think more than anything else, I think the process has helped me to just root myself in prayer, to realize that it's really God that's working through us, and that we do have the opportunity of reaching a lot of people with the preaching, teaching, and the service that we do for others. So it's definitely an honor, and I, I've grown to really love my vocation. Since the beginning of uh, my, the formation, I can honestly say that now I have a very deep and personal relationship with Christ, and that's first and foremost. And, and, and it's in my giving up of my own self-will to really to go after the will of what God our Father gives to us, and through the ministry of Christ, I'm just trying to live out that call and I'm trying to become that person that God sees in me, not what I want to become of myself. My whole formation has been very international and uh, very holistic, so to say, in the sense that I have had formation in different parts of Africa and outside Africa. I've met people and had different experiences of church and looking at the universality of the church and uh, all that it has and the hope that I think I see in the different places that I've been to, I've come to realize that God is really at work in human creation and that we are all believers. With your brothers, respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop and to your legitimate superior. I'd love to stay here in the United States province, um, but I also you know, where the need is within our congregation, I can see myself doing parish work. I can see myself doing some uh, internal ministry. I can see myself, if I'm being called outside the U.S., then they'll let me do that. Uh, I, wherever the Lord really guides me and really pushes me, and as well as the, the fraternity of the Oblate community, my Oblate brothers, uh, that I, I want that support so that I can be uh, that person, like I said, that God wants me to be and that my superiors are happy with. I do have a special love for the missions, so if it was up to me, I would love to be in the missions, uh, maybe La Morita in, in Tijuana, uh, or just anywhere where there is a lot of poverty. I know there's a lot of poverty that's also spiritual poverty, but I, I would really love to work where there's also a lot of financial poverty, because there's a lot of different needs, and I think that in, in many ways, uh, that's where I'm being called to, to be. Uh, but again, I'm open to wherever God needs me, wherever the ministry or the mission needs me, wherever the obletes need me. To you, brothers, respect and obedience to the diocesan bishop, and to your legitimate My dreams are that I work, you know, as a missionary to the people who are in most need. And um, wherever I'm sent, I'm ready to go. And um, God, I think, will help me on my journey. All holy men and women, saints of God,
del cual has sido mensajero. Once I said yes and I started the process, like I, I didn't see myself doing anything else. This is what I was created to do. This is definitely a calling and it's beautiful when you do uh, the will of God in your life. I think that's everyone's you know, calling to just do the will of God. I have received so much affirmation, so much support, and I get that from the Lord. I get that from Jesus Christ who's looking at me and saying, please feed my sheep and go out there, go out there within the church. And so it, it just after, I couldn't see myself doing anything else. You know, to believe and trust in God is a worthwhile thing. And uh, it has been, yes, a long journey, but every moment of it has been a joyous moment. Little bit of struggles, but all we count it joy because God provides for each and every one of us. And I think God seeks us so that we may become his followers. I feel God has an invitation for me personally to share my experiences with him with others.